Assalamu alaikum friends, this is Sami and you are watching Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Dear friends, in this video lecture today, I am going to discuss about types of foundation and construction and also their uses. And also I will tell you in this video lecture, how to choose suitable foundation for your building construction. So let's start. If this video is helpful for you, so must like this video and subscribe this channel with press bell icon to get notification about any video of Civil Engineers YouTube channel. So types of foundation and their uses and also how to choose suitable foundation for your building construction. Let's start. So first of all, I will tell you that foundation is the one of the most important part of any structure. If we make any mistake or if we make a small mistake in foundation design, so it will reflect huge impact. So therefore, we have to do good design of foundation. Now I will also tell you what is the function of foundation, right? Function of foundation. So foundation receive all load of structure like dead load, live load, seismic load, etc which distribute on columns and columns transfer the load to the ground. But remember that the structure load should be not greater than safe bearing capacity of soil. Okay. So foundation receive all load of structure like dead load, live load, seismic load, etc. But remember one thing, but the structure load should be not greater than safe bearing capacity of soil. Okay, I have already discussed it. foundation receive all load of structure like dead load, live load, seismic load, etc. But one thing is too much important that the structure load should not greater than safe bearing capacity of soil otherwise it will face more problems in foundation right i will also draw the diagram for functions of foundation so these are columns This is a diagram. Okay, so it will become like this. And this is slab or beam, etc. Okay, so when we apply the load, okay, these are load. Okay. So the load comes like this, okay, like uh, other loads, it becomes like this, Okay, this is foundation. Okay, I have already said that foundation receive all load of structure. Okay, so this is the diagram for functions of foundation. So now I will erase this and go ahead. Now, types of foundation.
types of foundation so we have two main types of foundation one is shallow foundation and the second one is deep foundation i have already discussed in previous video but let's again shallow foundation okay so i will define what is shallow foundation okay a foundation which depth is less or equal to its breadth it's called shallow foundation so this is diagram for that this depth this is the depth of foundation this is the depth of foundation and this is width or breadth we can say okay this is width if depth of foundation is less or equal to width of foundation so this is called shallow foundation for example if the depth is 2 feet and width is 2 feet or 1.7 feet for example so this kind of foundation is called shallow foundation right and the other one is deep foundation so simply we can define deep foundation that a foundation which depth is greater than its width is called deep foundation okay or simply we can say pile foundation as a deep foundation how suppose this is foundation this is foundation for example its width is for example 6 feet 6 feet and depth is more than depth is greater than its width okay for example at 7 feet or more so this foundation is called deep foundation now we have some other types in shallow foundation and also in deep foundation so i will erase these and we will go ahead so shallow foundation we have some types in shallow foundation okay the first one is isolated footing the second one is combined footing and the third one is strip footing and the second one is deep foundation types okay this is shallow foundation this one is deep foundation types so here the first one is pile foundation and the second one is friction pile actually i don't want to waste your time so i will not write the definition of uh, uh, each types of shallow foundation etc just i will tell you how to choose suitable foundation for your building construction so the first one is in shallow foundation isolated footing so you can say that f each column
has individual footing if each column has individual footing it's called isolated footing okay and this isolated footing is used for those soil which bearing capacity is low and isolated footing design is used for a small houses where the load is normal not for more load okay we can use it so uh, here uh, in isolated footing we have two types one is a square column and the other one is circular column okay So this is called isolated footing in a square okay and this one is circular okay now the other one is combined footing so where we can use combined footing now the second one is combined footing so i will tell you that there is no big difference uh, between isolated footing and combined footing so uh, if uh, there is more than one column place so we design combined footing if the distance between two column is just less than 2 meter okay so if more than one column place with the distance of less than 2 meter so we have to design combined footing okay and also we can use combined footing for low bearing capacity of soil where the bearing capacity of soil is low and for normal load we can use combined footing okay so uh, its diagram is uh, like this this is one footing and this is the other but the distance between two columns should be less than 2 meter okay combined footing should be used there in shallow foundation the last one is strip footing remember that strip footing is also called wall footing and strip footing is used where the bearing capacity of soil is good so we will take it 3 meter below the ground okay so it's very important and uh, there is also two types in strip footing one is sample footing and other one is a uh, uh, step footing okay so i will just understand you here that step footing is also called it's also called wall footing remember this point it's also called wall footing and its design where bearing capacity of soil is good where bearing capacity of soil is good so we will take from ground level to 3 meter not less than 3 meter and we can design strip footing or wall footing for more load okay so it's very important so the first one is pile foundation okay so why we design pile foundation so uh, it's the type of deep foundation so pile foundation are designed for more load and where the bearing capacity of soil is too much low and that is water locked area why we design pile foundation so pile foundation is designed for heavy structure where the load is more and uh, if the bearing capacity of soil is low so there we provide pile foundation and uh, mostly pile foundation is uh, designed in water locked area where water are more present okay so it's very important and the last one is friction pile remember that friction pile is used for vertical loads used for vertical loads and 
and place where where the end bearing pile should drive on to the hard strata and especially friction piles are used for heavy loads and friction pile can transfer the load through friction okay so this is the topic which i have discussed the front of you so if you have any question about this video so just comments i will try to reply your answers thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye